what's up guys we're back with subliminal part two i'm assuming this is the ending of the game but let's see where, how far we can go um let's continue with the game all right so as you guys know last time we left off with me thinking there was a serial killer or something getting scared over a paint can which is, i don't know it's embarrassing stupid they didn't even finish doing the job. That's that's what I'm. That's what I'm mad about. The paint job, man. Come on, you can't leave it like this. I say we continue. Let's go. See what we got. Do, 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 do. Avocados. Wait. Promotes heart health. Blood sugar regulation. Need to sleep. Biggest question: Which is the real one? You know. I, I agree with that. I am a little worth it. Enjoy avocados. I will. I will. As a, oh, more alarm clocks. I have to turn a little bit on. Ah. Shut up. 6 a.m. Hello. We're back. No. Oh. I'm always trying to see if there's something different. I'm assuming these hallways are always different. I just never noticed. The hell? It's like they forgot to press to press play. Oops. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna try my best not to make this boring for you guys. I, I, I hardly ever do commentary. I'm like, I'm, I'm sure, just like everyone. I'm like, once you're new, you're new to YouTube, then you gotta get used to things. Understand the game. What was that alarm clock? I like number three. But what I was saying... You know, you gotta get used to the game, gotta get used to things. Oh, I knew it. Let's -a go. Oh boy, it's dark. Why does it keep doing that? Me not like it. Me too scared. I get too scared easily. Easily scared. Attention. Dr. Pierce requires you to note the following risks of dream overexposure. Significant memory loss, both quantitative and qualitative. Hallucinations of dreaded or annoying objects. Unrealistic beliefs about the lengths of hallways. And other side effects which have not yet been discovered or which cannot be understood. I like games like these. If you guys can just like, you know, suggest a game in the, in the comments. For me, I'll greatly appreciate it. Warning: Dr. Pierce is frantically submitting numerous spelling and grammar mistakes into the standard orientation protocol in a desperate attempt to counsel you. I have no subroutine to correct these errors, but I cannot compromise the integrity of the standard orientation protocol. You will not receive these messages. They would not make sense regardless. The ramp, maybe? There you go. No more the merrier. Always exploring. There's never okay. Cloud insert. What? Order more red paint. Cloud insert. Well, what are they trying to do? You know. Attention. Dr. Pierce continues to input significant errors. I will interpret his basic ideas. Hello, my introductions are redundant. I am a real doctor who went to doctor school. VR has never been a mistake. I can help you, but I also do not know how. Transmission ends. Maybe this game is supposed to be in VR. You know, Ivan asked me that the other day. Maybe it is in VR, but I just see it in this way. Maybe, I don't know. Talk to me. Hello, name is my Pierce Dr. Glenn. To the Somnusculpt Welcome Experience, team of your care leader, patient years 10 development. Conditions struggle you whatever with? Professional invention. Edge science with cutting, a tomorrow can bright. And buts, no ifs, or look good. I think he's talking backwards. 
He's got a concussion in the brain. But busting in the brain. 208 beep 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 beep. Beep beep beep. Waking up again. 7 a.m. Awesome. <gasps> oh, that get. What? Bro. I usually wake up right here, no? Please don't be in a scary moment. What the hell? Okay. The reflection, that's nice. Whoa. Okay. Doctor, doctor. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. This is a notification that you have reappeared on our monitoring system after a prolonged absence. Please continue to do whatever you did most recently and discontinue whatever you were doing immediately prior to that. Which is the same thing, no? Other than running away from a paint can or checking down a paint can. Let's take a red soda. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh my god! I did not expect that. Yeah, we can't have shit in Detroit. House. Big house. Give me big house. Good enough. It's my home. Oh, everything's too... Too big now. Unless they want me... Yep. I knew it. They wanted me to get bigger or smaller? Question mark. Oh boy. Oh man. Take the jukebox though. Uh oh, the music is getting like wonky. Oh man, I don't like getting scared. I hate this shit. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. In addition to continuing and discontinuing as mentioned earlier, please also disregard any unsettling experiences that you may have recently had. Everything should have now reverted to being soothing and therapeutic. If this is not the case, you may be receiving this message in error. When Jesse were too ease, because we went to the same school, I uh, mostly hang out with Jesse. But whenever we do hang out, um, I can never do anything to him or else he'll do something back to me. So I, I got, I got like PTSD from him. Sometimes he'll, he'll like raise his hand to hit me, but he won't hit me, but I'll still flinch or something like that. Or I'll do something to him and then I'll get scared and I'll flinch because I feel like he's going to do something. And he'll start laughing because he's like, oh my God, I got you like scared or whatever. And it's true. Fire alarm. Guess that was the right size for this, huh? Oh, whoa. Oh. This is nice. It gives me like some, uh, Bioshock kind of feels. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to read you my favorite inspirational quote by me. Let me get it. The worst thing you can do is focus on negativity. It won't spare you from the cage of death, the pain of disease, the cruelty of time, the cold shell of human nature, or the eventual loss of everything you've ever held dear. Whatever you do, don't focus on that. It's the pool. It's cool. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going through the bait. In the bait. Oh! Why? Oh. <gasps> oh, I get it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I should have made it smaller. Nope. Leave it there. All right. 
There you go. Now I'm pretty sure if I press circle, I'm just gonna fall right through. I don't want that to happen. Oh my god. Oh, how convenient. And I can't even press that too. There you go. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to thank you for triggering every single one of our 823 emergency protocols. This will assist us greatly in improving the system for future patients. Congratulations. Anyway, you're now headed in the right direction, and we should be able to initiate the emergency exit protocol shortly. <laughs> I can play piano. What's this? Oh, that disappeared. Oh, I got bigger. Oh, I made myself bigger. It again? Oh, I, I forgot. You no. Make you small. How do I rotate? There you go. There you go. I rotate. On top, and I go through, and I'm tiny again. Tiny, tiny. <gasps> House, I see you. Get over here. Just the right side. Oh, finally. Wait, 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 wait. Pull. It's 3 a.m. again. somewhere else emergency exit protocol initiated please prepare to conclude your somnasculpt experience in 10 9 8 what error what error logged by orientation protocol stand by for analysis uh oh the window right there like, Error that analysis complete. More like blood you are exhibiting paint. signs consistent with an increase in fear, hopelessness, and frustration. Well, this is inconceivable, as somnasculpt therapy is proven to correlate with the increase out of this already, in these dude. emotions. Get me out of this already, dude! Come on, quit playing. This is the cube from right from the beginning. Can I get a soda this time? Yay! Soda, soda, soda. Soda, soda, soda. Hypothesis. Patient was improperly oriented. Conclusion. Impossible. Reformulating. I knew that was gonna happen. Is she not? She's trying to keep me. Improved huh? hypothesis. Patient requires additional somnasculpt therapy. Conclusion. Emergency exit protocol cannot proceed. Emergency exit protocol has been emergency wake up, wake destroyed. Up, wake, up. wake me up. Wake me up. Instruction, continue with Somnasculpt therapy indefinitely on an independent basis as all orientation resources have been exhausted. This concludes your standard orientation protocol. Goodbye. What? what? Oh, what the hell? What? I was trying to wake up. Not this shit again. I hear... What? What the hell? Oh, I hear it again. I hear it again. Not again. What if I don't... Oh boy. Oh no. I knew it. Oh god. What the hell? Can I just... Oh! Oh, that's creepy. This, that, do I dare? 
news. Oh boy, what's down there? What the hell? What are they eating? Little carrots? What the hell? I'm confused. I just want to wake up. Oh. Oh, what? <gasps> the paintings are. F what? That explains the paintings, dude. It's a door. Let me out. Look at that, dude. Hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Thank you for completing the Somnusculpt Standard Orientation Protocol. Before you begin the first phase of therapy, I'd like to briefly describe the finite and fragile nature of the dream state. That was insane. What the hell? <gasps> oh! Oh, that gave me chills! What the hell? That's insane! Should I... Soda, go! Alright, he did a bad job. Alright. There's an exit. Oh, fuck! Maybe if I open this? I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. God almighty. What is this? Wee. Oh, is this like a, a cloud? Look, there's a rip in the clouds. This is trippy. Of course, nothing is more challenging than the difficulty of changing perspective, of fundamentally altering your perceptions in a way that will enable you to face dire, trial-by-fire scenarios with solutions that could not be found otherwise. Yeah, I mean... Get me out of this, bro. What the hell? What is this? The cube? Wait. <gasps> that wasn't supposed to happen. Stairs. Oh no! Everything's falling on me. Can I go here? What the hell? Moved? What? What the hell? Cardboard only? That's plastic! Oh god. No. That is not reality. What? Oh god. Oh! Last second I thought there was like a puzzle there, but I guess not. What is this? Beat. Can you go in the water? I guess not. And the cube's gone. God damn. Yeah. Alter there. Hop. 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 Road closed. Not for long. I need to get out of here. Finally, while we respect the unique progress of every patient, you must understand that it is possible to completely exhaust your supply of dreams, thereby entering a state in which you will not be able to wake up, 
even with Fuck. the help of triggering mechanisms. What? What? You. Okay, it's a wall. And that's just... Okay. What's over there though? No, I... What... Is going on? What the hell? It's the elevator! I think. Yeah. Look, there's the walls. It's the bed. What's gas? Oh, they've been putting me to sleep this whole time, huh? This is not the kind of therapy I wanted to go to. I'm getting confused, I'm getting confused. <gasps> oh boy, I remember this place, I remember this place, yes I do. Kinda. There I god damn it. Shut up. <gasps> what? It's in this. What? Get me out. Oh, arrow. Yeah, I'm going that way. Nothing? There we go. Uh, this way. Please listen carefully for the sound of an alarm clock, which will automatically play if you are approaching a destabilizing <gasps> dream. Those weight. chairs aren't real. What the fuck? The oh, that's trippy. There's a desk chairs a second ago. What? What? I'm in a parking lot. Oh, it's fake. No. No. That's a wall. That's a wall. There's that. Oh, man. This is my room. And am I finally waking up? This is highly I'm unusual. It appears you have entered the Sonasculpt Diagnostic Framework. Patients do not have access to this dream. I hear some music. What's that? What? <gasps> I'm picking myself up. Too bright, oh my god. What's happening? What? I can't see anything. What is this? Whoa. <gasps> Look out the window. It's 
a cube. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and many years ago, I had a dream. I found myself in a place where I understood that each of us begins as nothing, where everything I perceived was shaped by seeing it exactly the way I wanted to. White space. Oh, what? That's old school. Maybe I can finally go home and see my kids. Toads? Minerals? Erase me. Little Maxi. Oh. Files? Papers? It's so beautiful. Oh, I was going through there. The light on the floor. Where am I going? Whoa. I'm not talking much, I know, but it's because this is just way up there. Yes, there we go. But in white space, I also faced the greatest challenge I could imagine. Because with a lifetime of life itself behind me, and all of the weight that it carried, I realized that seeing things the way I wanted to was not as easy as it used to be. It's, this game's very deep. Is that a light switch? Can they... When I finally wake up, is the question. How does someone come up with an idea like this? Is that the elevators? Do I step out? Step out. It's a door. Yes, he's gonna... You're well beyond dreaming now, and further out than anyone has ever come back from. But we hope that you won't get discouraged. After all, if this is a place of pure perspective, isn't it also a place where a different point of view could make anything possible? Isn't that why you came here? Cells. Yeah. Just to be safe, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> G. 
cheese. I knew the cheese would come back and save me. That's all that matters now, guys. It's so trippy. Get me down. I just want to go home. That's what I see. That's what I'm seeing right now. It's just... It's endless. What the hell? What the hell? I hear an alarm. Fifty nine, I'm autistic. Am I supposed to wake up? I think I'm I'm waking up. It's eight AM. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and by now, you may have realized that all of this has happened exactly the way it was supposed to. You see, everyone who comes to the Institute does so because they feel that they are no longer in control of something important to them. But, more often than not, the problem is not that the problems we face can't be solved. The problem is that we become so afraid of failure that we refuse to see our problems from a new perspective. And so, we do the same things again and again and again. And therein, of course, we find exactly the failure we were looking for. be a struggle and you will always have problems but today you have the chance to see things differently even though it meant facing obstacles that seemed impossible at first you thought outside the box and you overcame them because you saw things from every angle you understood them for what they really were because you kept moving forward no matter how far off the path you were told you were headed or how unexpected it became, you found your way. of you will say that none of this was real. So how could it have really meant anything? But just like the power of perspective itself, it will have been as real as you believed it to be. All you've got to do is wait up. the game guys that was super liminal this was beautiful it was smart it was great I recommend this to whoever is watching try it out it's it's a roller coaster of emotions 
I had a great time doing this for you guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you you like, subscribe, do whatever you gotta do. Thanks for watching this. Hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys all later.